is Moses Mushemi. Um, I work at, as a software engineer with a, with a US company. Um, Njoki Mushemi was my elder sister. She was a nurse there and she was also a dual citizen, a dual uh, American and Kenyan citizen. Um, what I can say about my sister is that um, she and her husband were quite conservative and they lived in a nice neighborhood. In fact, um, the neighborhood was about like 10% blacks. They were well off, that's what I can say. And in fact, they were in the process of starting their own um, healthcare company, her and some friends. Um, I saw her like three weeks ago. She and her husband, they came and nothing seemed off as in the husband greeted us well. Um, he liked children a lot, so he would live and take my kids out uh, as he's taking everyone else's, including my brother's kids. Um, that's who he was. Um, they used to visit the country like every year, yearly. So um, they were like the model family. Um, everybody was saying, wow, I wish my husband was like that. I mean, this is a person who, who used to share his, even his password um, and account details with my sister. So they used to operate together. Everything was open about their relationship. Um, by open, I mean honesty, in terms of honesty. Um, you don't see that every day um, in these modern times. And yeah, so it came as a shock hearing that he did this. And before, now, him, he left before. And my sister stayed a bit because uh, we were still continuing with the succession issues about my father, you know, getting uh, the letters from the chief so that we can transfer property and so on. So my sister stayed uh, for one week long and he'd call daily. He used to call via WhatsApp, so if he doesn't reach my sister, he would call me, um, ask, ask me if she's okay and so on. So, for us, um, it looked like he was a caring man, and this was the last thing we expected, as in, so it, it's still shocking. And we want to, in, to wait for, for the investigations from, from the local police there at the States so that they tell us uh, what really happened. As in, even up to now, I, I can't believe we could do that. I was even thinking perhaps maybe it's the perfect homicide, maybe somebody, you know, did that and planted, you know, that's how shocked I am, as in I can't believe that uh, Gary could do such a thing. He was the last guy anyone would suspect of doing anything like that. Um, if anything, my sister was a very straightforward person. Ukim Kosea, you know, she'll come straight and tell you. She was very straight, and everybody knows how straight she was. As in, she could speak her mind, as in, Yenule Mtu Alpanongero. If there was anything, we could have known. By now, we could have known that something is going on. In fact, even by, by uh, the day she was leaving, she was leaving for the states. Um, they spoke for quite a while, and she was even to buy some presents for for the kids, Christmas presents. I don't know, some Mac laptop or something. Yeah, and they spoke well, and so we had no idea. The, 